Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today I'm going to break down SSDs, hard drives, and a quick simple guide for 2019. Now I know at the time of this video, 2019 is a couple days away and I wanted to set up a good guide for people in the near future over 2019 to really sit down and kind of figure out what you're getting or what you need to get for your gaming computer. Because a lot of people, especially depending on the budget, which I'll break down in this video, will kind of get something and they really won't understand what's the best for them. And that's what I'm hopefully going to answer in today's video. And of course, if you're into building computers and you're trying to build something or pick out parts, I do have a Discord server in the description. We offer a lot of free help down there. Um, so if you're interested in that. Otherwise, let's get into this video. So first off, I want to break down simply the different classifications I have personally for these types of storage media um, out there. Now, some people will, of course, you know, group SSDs, all kind of SSDs together. And I really want to take today's video to kind of break down the differences because there are some substantial differences uh, between a 500 gig or 500 megabyte per second read write and a 3.6 gigabyte read write. There are some differences, and I want to make today's video to talk about those, talk about what those mean for gaming, but also compare them to a classic hard drive value wise, etc. So, recently, as I said, I've been doing a couple um, budget breakdowns or state of the market or kind of different videos where I talk about the value of certain products. And you know, today I wanted to take today's video to kind of talk about a traditional one terabyte hard drive, which I've got a bunch laying around. Um, a typical one terabyte hard drive compared to a 500 gig, 3.5 gigabyte per second, which I have in here, that was around 120 bucks. Um, and that was 120 bucks compared to 50 bucks, about half the price for double the storage. Um, so like a 50, I think it's 60 or 50 bucks for a one terabyte, uh, 7,200 RPM uh, hard drive compared to a 500 gigabyte, uh, 3 point, or 500 gigabyte, 120 buck uh, SSD, but that's 3.5 read write speeds. So the amount of difference in performance in those two is substantially, um, what, I guess, what you're paying for. So obviously there are other hard drives out there too. There are some, uh, I know there was a 240 gig SSD for like 40 bucks. There's a lot of like awesome deals out there if you want to do gaming. I want to break down like the value and if it's worth it. So first off, if you're doing a low-end budget computer, I definitely recommend an SSD for your OS. That's kind of a requirement. I would say even at the lowest end systems that I've built, I've always thrown an SSD in there because it substantially increases your boot time, saves you a lot of time, you can get into your games quicker, even if you don't have it on uh, have your games on that SSD. Uh, 120 gigabyte or 240 gigabyte is barely you know essential for any build at this point, especially in 2019. It's needed, and I I don't argue there. Now what really argues is what sorry what the really the argument of this today's video is is about the value of having a dedicated game drive. Uh, which should you have a one terabyte or should you have the 500 gig? So it really has to break down to what you're doing. I've had a personal circumstance, I'm gonna go off on a quick tangent and I'll promise this relates. I've had a personal personal circumstance uh, with my brother's computer. I built to him a computer last year and I was putting in a 500 gig SSD uh, for his games. He was playing PUBG at the time and of course I got him that for his Christmas present. And so he had a 500 gig uh, SSD that I threw in there. And I thought that was you know, a really good gift uh, just because it would be fast game storage. And what I didn't know is he was actually getting uh, around 90 FPS on PUBG at the time, which was the big thing, of course. Uh, and so we put that in there and then he loaded up his PUBG and he was getting 144 FPS, which is the max in PUBG. And he was you know, maxing it out. And you know, I personally don't know the circumstance behind it. I would assume something with 4K and having to read up all the textures off, but that was some type of bottleneck. I'm not necessarily sure it was off of an SSD beforehand and it was now on a different SSD and the read write speeds were kind of the same, maybe because it was a dedicated drive. But I am saying that because there are some, some circumstances where that actually ends up becoming a, you know, a performance limiting factor and you can actually end up getting a lot of performance out of getting a dedicated drive. Now, Obviously that, those numbers are not something I would expect but that's just a personal circumstance where I've seen that happen and that's why I want to recommend that you know even if you have a, a game drive or your OS is on a drive maybe a dedicated game drive will also offer you some benefits. So let's break down some of the stuff here. We've got a terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, four terabyte, all the different terabyte hard drives at 7,200 RPM, which are about pretty good for loading games. They're kind of slow, but they're relatively decent. You've got, the, I would say, the class of um, okay drives. I call them slow SSDs, and they're not really slow compared to a hard drive. I'm not saying that, but they're the slower end. We've got stuff that are like 500 megabytes read writes, which is what you're gonna get for like the $40, 240 gig SSDs 
and that's the read write speeds, which are perfectly fine for the budget gamer. And you've got the kind of high speed stuff, Sam, or Western Digital, which is what I have in the system back here. Western Digital, 500 gig, 250 gig SSDs with 3.5 gigabytes read write speeds, relative read write speeds. Those things are really, really fast. Now where that breaks down and what that really matters and what those differences really entail is that one, the hard drive, of course, will take much longer for your games to load, uh, and basically different tiers of how long your games will load. Just think, though, that between the slow SSD and the top tier, like for the one that I have in this back system here, the system back here, it really is like five times faster. And obviously, when you're going from a terabyte hard drive, it may go from taking 30 to 40 seconds to load your game to maybe like 15 seconds, and then you're going down maybe to like four seconds to load your game. Now, obviously, that I wouldn't recommend someone that's you know wanting to buy a, a, a low-end gaming computer, maybe between 600 to 800 dollars or below, um, buy the high-end speed uh, hard drives or SSDs to put their games on because simply it's just not going to be financially feasible especially when you can get a graphics card and get better graphics card and get much better performance uh, without having to upgrade your SSD. It just really depends on what your budget is. Now I, as I said game drive will be important and it also depends on how many games you're downloading. So as I said in 2019 uh, at the time of this video a lot of the SSDs have come down substantially in price and so a 500 gig um, Samsung 850, 860 Evo has like maybe f five or maybe like 70 bucks now. I saw one on Black Friday a while back, so like 70 bucks. That's a substantial deal, especially when you can put your asset, your games on there and get substantially better load times. Now, hard drives, I would really sit down and ask people, especially in 2019, how much game, how many games are you loading? I think that a lot of people that play so many games frequently, I wouldn't say that you would be playing a you would fill up a terabyte of all those games you play frequently. Especially like from, for example, my brother, he's much more into like getting a different game every week and playing it. He's probably got about maybe a selection of 10 to 15 games that he plays uh, on and off the whole a lot frequently. Maybe, you know, every week. And those games will not take a terabyte. If they do, then I, I mean, obviously that's a different circumstance, but I would say at most you got 500 gigabytes that all those games take to load or all those games take in storage. And so if you're only playing 15 games every week or, and you don't want to have to wait like, you know, a good substantial time, that's when I would say, and I'd recommend you get an SSD, maybe a fast one, a slow one, depending on what you want, get an SSD and then those games are set in there so you can load them up quickly. As for the terabyte, I, at the time of this video, I really don't see the value in someone having a terabyte worth of games, especially like, you know, yes, you have, obviously a terabyte will be good for those games that you don't play too frequently, and I perf perfectly think that's fine if you have a bunch of games that you don't play frequently, but I've found that people that don't play those games as often really should, would be better off deleting them, getting more storage, especially on an SSD, and then therefore freeing up more space, having your SSD run faster in case you didn't know if you clean off an SSD, you get more speed back. It's interesting. Um, I've done a video on that, check that out. And basically you get um, a much better performing drive and you also got the games that you want with a much faster speed rather than having you know, a substantially large hard drive for no reason. I'm not saying that hard drives in general are useless. I'm saying that you know if you want to have a dedicated game hard drive, it's much better to have a dedicated uh, SSD and then have a, a terabyte hard drive for all your pictures, etc. All the stuff that doesn't matter and maybe store those games that you just want to switch back and forth uh, or that for that selection. Just for the stuff that really matters and you really want to use, put on that SSD. Now what really determines the factor between how fast your SSD gets is of course how much you're willing to pay and obviously a, the, t the, the one that I had back in this system is completely awesome. I can shut down my computer and it'd be up in like 10 seconds as much as I almost would be to sleep, uh, put the computer to sleep. So it's much, I mean, it just depends on like what your budget is and where, you know, how much you're willing to pay for that SSD price. Obviously, the slower hard drives, you'll get more storage. Um, the faster ones, of course, will be less storage, but they'll perform better and take longer to load or take less longer to load. So it just really depends on what you're going for. As So basically, in the summarization of this video, it just really hard drives for the games you play frequently, especially for those people that are out there that play a selection of maybe 15 games and that's all they play. SSD all the way. Um, as, a, as I said, for everything like photos, etc., I'm not saying don't have a terabyte hard drive, especially for gamers, don't have a, a, a you know, large mass storage drive. I'm saying that just have maybe for backups or something, just make sure you keep that and keep your games away from that. Uh, and make sure you frequently, the stuff that you're frequently playing is definitely on SSD. It's definitely worth the value. 
and it definitely will save you a substantial amount of time uh, and you can play more of your games. So that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you need help with your Discord server, or sorry, not Discord server, help with building your computer, we have a Discord server. You can check that out. It's in the description. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.